Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today we're at the range, got the 224 Valkyrie out again. I'm going to be shooting off five group shots for different seating depths at five thousandths of an inch increments. I'm going to see if I can get different results with group sizes and I'm going to see how it affects my velocity. I've got my lab radar set up, I've got targets down range, so we're going to get into it and get going. All right, my first group is going to be touching the lands. The round was a little tight on the bolt when I was camming it over. This five shot group is five thousandths off of the lands. This five shot group is ten thousandths off of the lands. This group is going to be 15 thousandths off of the lands. This group is going to be 20 thousandths off of the lands. This group is going to be 25 thousandths off of the lands. This five shot group is going to be 30 thousandths off of the lands. This group is going to be 35 thousandths off of the lands. This is the last group, and it's at 4,000, so off of the lands. Well, guys. That's all of the different shot groups, starting at touching the lands and ending at 40 thousandths off of the lands. So once I get back home and analyze the data and look at the groups on target, we're going to see which is the best pick for this particular loadout. All right, I'm going to go over the numbers. 
At touching the lands, the standard deviation was 19.7, with an extreme spread of 43 and an average muzzle velocity of 2789 feet per second. The group size was 0.99 MOA, with a mean radius of 0.37 MOA. While I was shooting this five-shot group, one thing that I noticed that bothered me was how hard I had to cam over the bolt when I was closing it. At five thousandths from the lands, the standard deviation dropped down to six with an extreme spread of only 17 and an average muzzle velocity of 2787. I still felt a little bit of resistance when I was closing the bolt, but it wasn't terrible. For the group size, I had 0.72 MOA with a mean radius of 0.35 MOA. At 15 thousandths from the lands, I had a standard deviation of 13.8, an extreme spread of 38, and an average muzzle velocity of 27.85. For group size, I had 0.91 MOA with a mean radius of 0.4 MOA. At 20 thousandths from the lands, I had a standard deviation of 10.1, an extreme spread of 27, and an average muzzle velocity of 27.87 again. For the group size, it was 1.49 MOA with a mean radius of 0.55 MOA. This is where things really open up. At 25 thousandths from the lands, I had a standard deviation of 10.5, an extreme spread of 25, and average muzzle velocity of 2,800 feet per second. The group size was 1.41 MOA with a mean radius of 0.59 MOA. At 30 thousandths from the lands, I had a standard deviation of 17.9, an extreme spread of 45, and an average muzzle velocity of 2774. The group size was 1.25 MOA with a mean radius of 0.39 MOA. At 35 thousandths from the lands, I had a standard deviation of 15.2, an extreme spread of 37, and an average muzzle velocity of 2797. My group size was 2.15 MOA and a mean radius of 0.67 MOA. And at the final setting with 40 thousandths from the lands, my standard deviation was 12.6, an extreme spread of 34, and an average muzzle velocity of 27.95. The group size was 1.29 MOA with a mean radius of 0.48 MOA. Here's some more information I decided that I'd share because I thought it was quite interesting. Between the extreme spread and the standard deviation, they pretty much fluctuated pretty much in sync with each other. If one went up, the other one went up. If one went down, the other one went down. And as you can see on the two graphs, the pattern is almost identical. I just thought it was surprising and worth sharing. Now to me this is the most interesting piece of information that I've got and that is the chart for the average muzzle velocity. Between touching the lands and 20 thousandths off of the lands there's almost no differentiation at all. And then after that things get all cattywampus. I just think it's very interesting that I was getting pretty much the same results whether I was touching the lands or out to 20 thousandths off of the lands. So after reviewing all of my data, I've decided that I'm going to go with 5 thousandths from the lands with this particular load. It just gives me the best overall results, including standard deviation, extreme spread, muzzle velocity I'm happy with, and the group size isn't that bad either. So just to recap with the final results, I'm going to be loading this 224 Valkyrie with the 88 grain Hornady ELD match bullets using 26.7 grains of BLC2, CCI BR4 bench rest small rifle primers, and I'm going to be using a seating depth of 5 thousandths from the lands. It's been a long trip to get to this final end point with the 88 grain Hornady ELD match bullets. I plan on doing more loadouts with different bullets down the road, so if there's anything that you would like to see as far as uh, any type of manufacturer's bullet, any type of weight, or what have you, if there's something that you want to see me load up,
please let me know in the comments section because I'll do my best to find it. And if I can find it, I'm going to load it for you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep in touch with what videos I have coming out next. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.